a great place this is. Just been having a quick look at the bikes. A bit of a nosy. A couple touring in today. Outside they did pull on for the race around the Netherlands. Stick around, it's gonna be a good one. Hey folks, a couple hours in, it's been pacey. Now the groups have split up. I'm kind of going eastward at the moment. So it's day one, and I've had my first mechanical. What happened is, and it's probably as a result of last week's Dirty Reaver, the uh, EXO rail, which holds my bag in place, came off, popped out, and cycle three kilometres back again, found the bike shop, here I am, going again. So it may well set me back half an hour. Oh, my glasses broke as well. Being glasses, I don't know why I spent so much money on glasses, because I'd just go and bloody break them. Well, I appear to have gone up a hill. About 120 meters above sea level right now. It's so hard. Now that you've touched my useless heart. Yeah, so I'm going to keep riding to about one o'clock, I think. Hey, folks, good morning. Welcome to day two of my race around the netherlands 2000 kilometers all the way around the country it is about half eight in the morning i've done first 80k which means i am now done 400 and it's it's been it's been really been really good up to now yes so really really fast today not so much because everybody's uh, everybody's spread out and uh, finding my own pace now plan today is, is to do about 300 or ish perhaps a little bit more no less than 300 though and after that i'm going to start to taper it off a little bit because i just want to get time in the bag um i've got eight days to do this journey up to now it looks like you know if i kept doing what i'm doing now all the way through i'd finish in about six days
I knew I was going to be riding on the beach, I'd have brought a bucket and spade. my shoulder wow got uh, normal shorts on uh, over the top of the bib shorts it's getting uncomfortable in the older uh, buttocks just a little bit of extra padding wow just go around a slight bend and wow how many of those is there So I'm here at Lely's Stat, just had a quick pause. Oh, morning folks, day four, I'm here in Almera. I'm not outside for a change. I'm in, a, I'm in Gus's home. Gus is someone I contacted on the warm showers and he kindly put me up for the night. It's definitely time to get moving and uh, get the day started. But as you can see, it's still, it's still dark out there. Try and get a, another longish day in book tonight. I'll be a Vivian somewhere. <laughs> Not entirely sure yet, I need to work out where roughly 300 kilometers is. Good morning. On my way along the A6, four lane motorway over there. Dedicated bus lane there. Cycle lane, look at that. Wow, spacious. Yeah, perhaps a look at state of the path. I am back in sheep shit country. That's the uh, big road into Amsterdam. Don't really go into the centre, so there'll be uh, no uh, <coughs> coffee for me. Talking of coffee, I don't really remember drinking mine this morning. I think I left it. It, all, it didn't touch the sides anyway. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day it's looking to be. Look at the sky. It's hard to work out at the moment which way the wind is blowing. <clears throat> Although essentially, I think it's going to be a headwind day, or more anyway. And the strategy today is to, or well, at the very least, I want to do 100 kilometers, no stops, and then set the next target for the day. For the afternoon. There we are. Believe me, there are sheep here. Black ones, white ones, smelly ones. He heard me. Oh, look at that cute one. Bloody hell. I'm not wearing my mask because it's cold. There's more flies here than there is the population of people in the Netherlands. And probably England, France and Germany put together. I'm sure that's why the sky is so grey. There's clouds of flies. So I'll go from Friesland to Fliesland. <laughs> 
stopped for something to eat, they got back on the white bike and I went, bloody hell, it's so cold, so I put the hoodie back on again. Uh, just taking a gelée off, put the hoodie on. It's so cold, can't believe it. So I'm at the most northern point now. Soon be the most westerly. What a beautiful place. Having a good time. Legs are okay. They're a little bit tired now though. Can't wait to turn south. So coming up to the second stage, well, end of the second stage, and it's certainly been the most interesting up to now. This route doesn't miss anything out. So hello, it's day five, ten past seven, thereabouts. It's okay, it could be another glorious day. Feeling okay. I've had the pedo cell on today for the first time, um, except it wasn't connected to the USB. It must have to fall out. I was like, what a knob. So I was cycling for an hour, thinking, oh, nice bit of power going in it. Then uh, realised the USB lead wasn't running in properly. It must have popped out as I was setting up. But basically, I've uh, had a bit of a reset this morning as well, in terms of uh, how the set things set up so I've kind of put it at the top here and I can feel it's plugged in to the top there bike standing up well so far as you can see I have got shoes on at the moment on here stores always got the beefy bag there as well because a little touch of damp last night so I've got it on there on the outside so if there's any warmth at all today that will dry it out anyway time to make a move Heading along the bustling streets of Rotterdam. I guess wash hour is over with. It's gone 10 o'clock, I think. Last time I came through Rotterdam in 2019, after completing the Fitz Elf Stenutokt, which is hard to say, 
with a grill mount stuck in your mouth anyway it was raining <laughs> and I didn't really stop which is a shame because you know there's plenty to see here and today not really stopping either just general traffic lights really tram lines gotta be careful on those No better way to travel around the Netherlands than by a bicycle. Wow. So we're coming to uh, get out of the sun a little while. Trees off in the distance. I was like, I'm having those. And then I got there. And uh, look who's here. I'm just gonna lay here for. I've set me that set me down for 20 minutes. I just need a a quick respite. It is tiring. In the summertime and the weather is hot, you can reach right up and touch the sky. Oh, legs are out, arms are out, sun is out. It is warm. the uh, 200 kilometer mark is just like this I can find myself a nice beery spot and maybe it'll be a little bit warmer last night I managed to get about three and a half hours sleep woke up sound of deer barking got back to sleep again stop for a nature break a little bit cold again the temperature was down to around freezing point just to give you an idea of how cold it's been here in the Netherlands this May. We're back to beaches, beautiful sea views again. Wow, beautiful to my left to my center and off to my right whoa look at that beach over there golden beaches been plenty of people are enjoying the sunshine it must be holidays to some of here in the Netherlands there's loads of families out enjoying the dunes buckets of spades are out got some big dunes around here as well a little bit of useless information my harrows were frozen last night. It's not much fun eating a uh, <laughs> freezing gold harrow, but nonetheless, it must be eaten. Wow! <laughs> Lovely evening. So here's the plan. Half seven, got two litres of water. Just had a big giant pizza, 30 centimetres, and a plate of fries all to myself. Got no food on the bike, but uh, yeah, target 108 kilometres. No food, so no breakfast in the morning, but I figured a big pizza fries, I'm actually stuffed, so I'll be fine, find somewhere in the morning. And uh, just to finish on two things to round up today. Today is Liberation Day. Eight o'clock, they have two minutes silence. It's when Netherlands was liberated from the Germans. Very important occasion now, everybody marks. Following that, tomorrow is a bank holiday. Very green country, very future focused. Come on, rest of the world. Is anybody else building big as this? This is such, such an adventure. Dunes, solar panels, wind turbines. 
sheep shit. Big pile of food was actually bigger than this. Uh, three minutes past eight, co-op just opened. Success. Lunch, 20 past 12. Got some meat, about four different buns in there, so I'm gonna make some sandwiches. I tell you what, you see everything being transported by bicycle in here in the Netherlands. There was a mother and daughter, and the daughter was on the back of the bike. Feet were like dangling down too close to the back wheels. So instead, she had her feet sat in panniers. <laughs> and do you know what I saw yesterday? I was going up the, the coast. Six o'clock in the morning, big city, and there's a guy all dressed in a wetsuit on his bike, carrying a full-size surfboard. There we go. Don't say there wasn't a windmill in this series. <laughs> Got a and b tonight. Hopefully, get a ch big chunk of sleep, maybe seven or eight hours. That's a final day tomorrow. making the way to this most southwesterly point of the Netherlands. Should hit there a few hours from now. Diverse landscape. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I've never been this far away from home. Just leaving Maastricht, right in the southern quarter, corner, whatever you like to call it. And uh, my right knee is actually battering me. I've had to keep stopping a lot. But remember, if I said already, I've organised a b and &B, b &B. It's uh, less than 35 kilometres up the uh, cycle path. However, I've got the first categorised climbs since... <laughs> Day one, I think. There's about six of them in this path, in this neck of the woods. And it's supposed to be quite quite steep stuff out here. The uh, stage climb won't finish until well, sorry, it won't start until tomorrow. And I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. Whoo! First category climb. <laughs> Continuous 18% for a long time. Wow. It's amazing uh, how a killer climb come that like that. Fully loaded, can they suddenly weight your legs up? Well, they're still moving. Our right legs took all the battering. Left legs not too bad. Uh, according to my ride with GPS, there's a place called Gilpa. Up the road somewhere, 10k away. I wrote down there's plenty of cafes, so let's hope at least one of those is open. Tomorrow's ride is going to be 238 plus 22 plus a little bit of a plus a little bit more from the B&B &B back on tracing the path back to uh, about 260 tomorrow I think it's a long day yet again but hopefully I'll get plenty of uh, well I will get plenty of the rest but oh hello here we am final day got to ride back to hello got to ride back to Valkenberg to start that big climb. It's a little bit out of the way, this Airbnb. You can see it's a bit gloomy. Didn't, obviously, I got here. The first thing I want to do was jump in the shower and just relax that leg a bit a bit. So I did not bring the camera out at all. It's meant to be a race, although it's more. I say it's meant to be a race. I keep saying it's meant to be a race. Only be meant to be a race if you you know care about that kind of thing. Otherwise it's kind of a one big adventure. So let's continue that adventure and let's get on the road. Just been up the big climb at Valkenburg. Oh, oh, don't talk to you about gearing. Well, first though, uh, all over the road, uh, lots of logos, writing and things like that. I think I saw a Ratner in there somewhere. 
Mathieu van der Poel, MV, DP. I saw, I saw this morning's BMV. It's, it's 13k in one direction, strangely 15k in another. So TCR, when it comes to the TCR, you have to make a few more informed choices. Hey! <laughs> oh, Mr. Downhill's this last week. Point four K. Centimeters of ascent. Hey folks, you want to know how I'm doing? Okay, not too bad. Legs are a bit stiff. As for the race, it was absolutely amazing. I'm going to be um, hanging around here just a, bit, a little bit long before heading out to the campsite. See if anybody's arriving soon. It'll be interesting to see who hasn't yet finished and they're still out there enjoying themselves. Uh, like Biscuit, Biscuit, Biscuit Rob, is he still out there? I want to see if he's got any digestive so the hobnobs finished by the time he finishes the race. Hey folks, hopefully the uh, pitch is not too green. Inside the tent, this is the afternoon, some coffee on the go while water boiling in right now. I'm gonna have some of the four greens, 49 cycle coffee, Arabica, Arabica, Arabica? I don't know, it's lovely coffee anyway. Chilled out for the rest of Saturday, off home. What can I say? It's uh, it's been an amazing oh, week or more. Really, very excited. It'd be nice to uh, relax those legs down because. Uh, Right, right knee is a little bit oh, stretching it right now behind the camera. Uh, just stretching out, that's what I need to be doing. Uh, probably gonna have another bike fit because it's not quite right and it needs to be fixed and ready for the TCR in the summer. Good morning, folks. I'm in the car, it's a Sunday. Got one last thing to do. There he is, biscuit boy. <laughs> well done. Oh, well, well, I was gonna take bets with Elena whether you had a uh, any biscuits well, left any biscuits or any, left well, any I didn't have that conversation. No, you switched to Pringles and um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you this. I didn't, I didn't need it today, but that's, um, that's a water bottle full of McDonald's coffee from five days ago. It works quite oh. well. Um, <laughs> just yeah, just in case, yeah. You made it just in time from my perspective, because I made it to quarter past uh, oh, yeah. 11, yeah, it's it's time to see finish. Yeah. I, I, I stuck to this completely. I went nice. through every one of these towns. The timing was completely off. <laughs> Subway, McDonald's, Domino's, and a uh, bakery. <laughs> 